Hello, this is Kagamaiman666, also known as Guy Dragonus on DeviantArt, and I shall be showing you how to install Uto onto your computer without changing the computer's Japanese icon. I'll be borrowing my mum's computer for this because I've already installed it on mine, and I really can't be bothered uninstalling it. Okay. So, what you have to do first is you have to download AppLocal, which allows you to use non Unicode programs in English. So you just download that, I'll give you links in the description. Once that's downloaded, put it in the C drive. Just paste it there or something. So there it is. Now if you're using Vista or XP, anything but Windows 7, you should be able to install that with no problem. If you're using Windows 7, what you're going to have to do is type CMD there, which will open up that. Now, to open that, you have to click hold, hold, sorry, control plus shift and open it. It'll ask you if you want to make changes to it, but yes. So that opens up this. So what you have to do now is put in CD and forward slash. And I'll let you explore the shady drive, hopefully. And now what you want to do is type in app block point M S I. Press enter. And it'll open it up. Hooray! And that'll allow you to install it on a computer that is Windows 10. Because otherwise it doesn't work. I don't know why. So, we'll let that install because my computer is really slow. Well, my mom's computer. So now, what you want to do is go to the YouTube site and download both of these. You need both of them because, yeah, for this way of installing, you need both. I'll show you later. And now that looks like it's stuffed up. Why? Why do you stuff up? I can't see where it is. I'm just going to assume that works. Yes, it does. I don't know why it does that. Anyway, so now download those, both of them. I put mine in a folder here. Now don't open that directly. So you go open app locale. Go next. Now you have to browse for it. Which I put mine in a nice little folder. It will probably be in the downloads folder. Pretty sure where did it go? Desktop. Into desktop. Where is it? There. Um, that one. So you click on that. That should happen there. It already realizes it's Japanese, but if it doesn't do that, you have to change it. It'll create a shortcut with it, but you don't want to do that to the installer. And so it should install it. Yeah. So that basically means next. 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 And it should install it. Hopefully. Come on, hurry up. There we go. Come on, come on. There we go. It's done. Now it should have a little shortcut there. And click on that to open it. Now that error is going to come up. I'll show you how to fix that later. So there you go. But as you can see, it's all gibberish. So now I'm going to show you how to fix that. So it's not in gibberish. So now, what we do is I shouldn't have done that. 
So now we have to put in English. So we go HTTP. Okay, sorry about that. I just have to fix. So okay. So you're gonna have to download that. That's the English patch. That'll be in your downloads. There it is. I'll just copy that and put it there. Now you want to um, extract here. Now come up with a res file. Now what you have to do is copy this res dictionary. And you're going to have to put it in the Itaoo dictionary, which you're going to go to your computer, find it. Oh, not there. Um, where is it? Oh, hold on, I've done it wrong. Sorry about that. I'm kind of nervous. That's the story. Program files, so you get program files. And yet it's not there. Where did you go? Oh, there it is. Sorry about that. So now you're going to put that just into just there. You paste it. And continue. I'll copy it over. Now, if we've done that right, it should open up. If we go back to app locale. We'll have to make a shortcut. So we've got to do that. Your program. Keep up. Next. Please. And there you go. Your menus are now in mostly English. Mostly. But it should be useful now. So now we're going to fix that error that comes up when you first launch it. So now what we have to do is go back to the file here. Now go into voice and click on different one. Now see all this gibberish? You gotta delete all the point wave files, but leave the ones that are in Japanese. Because you need them. So Continue. Do you keep all these ones? Just have to delete all the other ones. That any left? No. So now what you have to do is unzip the zip that you downloaded. This one. So you um yeah. We click that, and now what we want to go is go to voice and go to default USA. And now what you want to look for is this one, and that one. Those two. Now you want to copy them. And you want to put them into your actual user O program, which I think I already had on my wait. No, it's all right. Sorry. Oh, it's too busy to find all right. You paste them in there.
Now what you have to do is launch this with app locale. So app locale again. Now you can find it again. Your voice. And you click that one. Next. Now you have to make it to Japanese, which is the bottom one. You don't need to make a shortcut. So that just fixes it. We can now delete those two from the voice bank. We don't need them anymore. And now it should work. Oh well, that should work now. We go to lots of app locale. I forgot to do the thing. Now it should work. Sorry, I have no idea what I'm doing. No. And you just go there. Finish. And ta da! There was no error. And it should work perfectly. Hopefully. Only you can't put your lyrics in. But if you want to make it thin, the default one, just go down list. And you just click on that. And yeah. It. But yeah, have a muck around, make your own, play a tutorial for that. And yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching, and bye bye.